What's up guys, my name is Karol and welcome to Ads Forces, a channel where you can learn the best digital marketing secrets and web analytics tricks. Today I'm gonna talk about budget management and Google Ads. I will teach you how to set up your budget correctly depending on your KPI, CPA or biz strategy. I will also teach you how to calculate your ad waste. If you want to watch more tutorials like that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so today I'm gonna share with you tools for budget optimization, budget forecasting, budget estimations, and budget tracking. Then I'm gonna show you a method how you can calculate your budget waste. But first I want to talk about budget settings in Google Ads. Right now we have the possibility to set up a daily budget on a campaign level or a shared daily budget. So when you set up a daily budget, you simply won't spend more than 30 times more of your daily budget in a month. But your budget can be overspent on a daily basis. So you can see that there will be some days that you will actually spend more than your daily budget, but in general, it won't be bigger than 30 times of your daily budget. And we have a possibility to set up a shared budget for multiple campaigns. And I actually don't recommend to use these settings. It's most likely for beginner users. And right now Google is running a new feature for selected campaigns where you can actually set up a monthly budget on a campaign level. So maybe when you actually watch this video, this feature will be populated on all accounts. And this is how this new feature looks like. So you have your average daily settings like normally, and you can also pick up a monthly budget. So this solution will be best for people that want to have a total control over their monthly budget. Now I want to give you some tips when it comes to budget settings in automated bidding strategies. First of all, don't use ROS or target CPA on a budget limited campaigns. When you're limited by budget, simply use maximize conversions or maximize conversion value. Another one is while you're switching to automated bidding strategy, calculate your average daily spend and set budget based on that. Don't set up your budget like two or three or more times than your real daily spendings, especially in a maximize conversion strategy because you will actually overspend, your CPA will go up for sure. And the last one, you can't use shared budget and automated bidding strategies at the same time. So if you want to actually test automated bidding strategies on your campaigns, you need to set up a campaign level budget. So simply calculate, take a larger period of time, like 30, 60 days, calculate your average daily spendings in this campaign and set up your daily budget and switch to automated bidding strategies. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a tool, a Google Spreadsheet file that will simply help you calculate a profitability of your campaigns. So make sure you only edit content in the blue. So these are only the rows that you want to edit, right? Don't touch anything else. So what you can set up here is your currency. We have free in here, but if you want to add yours, there is this industry CPC tab in here and you can actually add more here. You could replace this one with your own currency, just calculated it. You can use uh, Google Spreadsheet's formula, just like here, so you can have your own currency, okay? You can select your industry, and the industry list is placed also over here. So if you know your CPC, the average or your real CPC, you can place it in here. So if you're an e-commerce, you can change the CPC. I don't know how up-to-date are these CPC in the industry, okay? So you can select this in here, the question two is how much do you sell your products for? So you will place it in here. If you're an e-commerce, you can place a average of a product category, or if you just have one service or several services, you can create several files like that and place it in here. Question three is what does it cost to produce, right? So you would place it in here and here you will see your profit, gross profit margin. Okay, so the question four is AdWords budget to spend. You simply put your budget in here and here you can set up a budget change per month. If you plan to actually increase the budget over month, like 2%, like in here, you can place it in here. You can set up zero if you want to spend the same budget in every month. Number five is website conversion rate. So you simply put your conversion rate in here and conversion improvement rate per month. You can place it in here. If you want to actually test your conversion rate and improve it over time, you can estimate it in here, but you can also put zero. The last question is qualified lead to sale rate. So if you actually call your leads and finish the, the, the sale, the transaction over the phone, you can simply input your lead conversion rate in here. If you're an e-commerce, you would simply put zero in here. And here you can add overhead expenses if you have one. 
like agency management fees or hosting services or any additional costs. And simply what this file does, it will calculate your profitability in here over the year and summarize it in this field and it will split it over the months in this part okay based on what you actually did in the blue fields and you will see your profitability chart over here okay so this file will actually help you to forecast effects of your campaign within your budget i will post a link to this file make sure to just make a copy of it before you make any changes okay this file will help you to estimate effects of your display cpm campaign if you plan to actually run a display cpm campaign and it's a very simple spreadsheet file so you have three different time periods in here you can add more if you like these are actually comparison you can use them actually as a comparison and what this file does you just put an impression volume that you want to accomplish with your cpm campaigns in here and in the blue fields you can change metrics like your assumed cpm like here in the time period one, I assume that I will have $2 CPM cost per 1000 impressions. In this, I have four, in this three. And here you can set up your CTR. So I set up a 0.85% CTR that I assume I will have. And here you just simply put your lead rate in this formula actually. And I assume that I will have a 3% lead rate. And what this file simply does, it calculates your estimated cost to produce 100,000 impressions in this example. It calculates your CPC because it's a CPM campaign actually, and it will calculate your cost per lead, cost per action in here. So in this example, we have three different time periods, but everywhere we want to accomplish a goal of generating 1,100 impressions. But you can see the cost will be different based on our CPM. The CPC and cost CPA will be also different. But what you can actually do with this file is, okay, I won't be able to decrease the CPM from $2, but maybe I will be able to increase my CTR from 0.85% to 1%. And how that will affect my cost per lead, right? As you can see, the cost per lead changes, it's smaller. But what if I can't change the CPM, I can not decrease it, and I can't increase the CTR because my ad texts are great, my banners are awesome, but I can work on my lead rate, like my landing page conversion rate, and I can increase it to 5%. And how my conversion cost will change with that. So you can combine all these, you know, changing all the, these metrics like lead rate, CTR, or CPM, and what do you want to actually need to accomplish to generate like cost per lead that you're satisfied with. So this is actually a very simple but powerful file that will help you estimate and plan. Okay, another tool that I want to share with you, it's a budget tracker script. And what this script simply does, it creates this spreadsheet file and it will track your Google Ads account spendings over time and show you this cumulative spend over the month. And now I'm gonna show you how to implement this script in a Google Ads account, even if you didn't use any scripts before. Okay, so this is the script. I will share it with you in the description of this video so you can copy, simply copy this. And what you can actually change and need to change in here is you need to change the spreadsheet URL. So you can actually download the spreadsheet from the description of this video. Make sure to just make a copy of this and simply put in here your files URL. This is my file. You need to copy your file URL in here. You can set up an email so you will actually be notified every day if you run the script every day about how many percentages you spent at the day of a month. So this is actually a cool feature. So simply put your emails in here. You can add more than one, of course. And you set up an email subject so you can change the subject of the email like X client budget tracker. And that's it. Don't change anything else in this script. So when you open the script, simply press Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy all the script. Now go to your Google Ads account and to Tools and Settings. And here under the bulk actions, you have scripts. And now simply press this plus button. So we will create a new script. Okay, now you need to click here, authorize. Log into your account. And you need to allow the script to have access. Okay, now simply delete what's in this field and copy the script. You know, you can edit, you need to edit the spreadsheet URL. And here, your email. Once you've done that, you can press save and preview. And after you press preview, 
it will ask you to authorize once again. So you need to authorize this and allow access. Okay. And now you need to run the script. It finished with some errors, but that's because my ads are not actually running on this account. Okay, so go to the scripts. You can actually change the name of the script and set up the frequency. I recommend to run this daily, like in the morning or at midnight and hit save. And after that, when you go to your file, you will start to see this chart over the time. Of course, at the beginning, it will only have one day, but over the time, you will be able to see a chart like that. First, you need to actually simply put in your monthly budget over here. This is the only field that you need to actually fill in. You can add your logo here, but this is the monthly budget. Okay, so now I will show you how you can calculate your search campaigns at waste. Because when you run your Google Ads campaigns, you will eventually waste your budget at some point. And that's a normal thing. You won't be able to have a conversion rate of 100%. So you will waste your budget. So to calculate how much do you waste, you can do it on a campaign level or account level. I will do it on a account level. So simply go to the keyword section over here and search terms over here. I have some filters here, so I will get rid of them and set up a filter to show only search campaigns. So you have to create a filter campaign type and select search and apply. Okay, so now you will see all the search terms from the period of time that you selected. And actually I recommend to analyze it on a longer period of time, at least 60 days when you spend at least $1,000 per month. So I will select like a longer period of time, something like this. And what you want to do now is add a filter, simply write conversions and set up a filter that will show you only search terms with conversions smaller than 001. Because I have a data-driven attribution model on this account, so I could have less than one conversion on a search term. Okay, so now you see all the search terms that didn't generate conversions. Oh, sorry. Okay, right? And what you want to do now is scroll down all the way to the bottom. And in this rows, you will see a total filtered search terms and total accounts. So without the filter that we just created. And in the cost column, you will see this number, your number, your costs. So this is the cost of search terms that didn't generate any conversions in this period of time. And these are the costs of all the search terms on your account in this period of time. And simply what you need to do is divide this number by this number and multiply it by 100 percent okay so in my example it will be it will be almost 18 percent so in this period of time i simply wasted 18 percent of my budget and don't be scared this is a normal thing this actually is a very low number don't be surprised if you will see like 40 percent or 50 percent this is totally normal and it all depends on your industry your niche your competitors etc but in general this is not a perfect method of course this is like an overview of the situation it's not a very deep in-depth analysis but simply a result of 30 40 percent is great or lower like in this case, but if you have, you know, a very competitive industry and you have 50%, that's okay too, you know. You can always try to decrease it by analyzing the search terms, adding negatives, and I would recommend to actually search for search terms that you can add as negatives in phrase match or broad match. Don't simply just, you know, create a filter of search terms that didn't generate conversions, mark them, and add as negatives in exact match. That won't help you a lot. Okay, so now you know everything to set up and optimize your Google Ads budget. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment under this video. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're hungry for more digital marketing knowledge and see you in my other videos. Bye!